Hi everybody, I am Dr. Britt Tally Daniel, MD, a neurologist and headache doctor, and a member of the American Academy of Neurology and the American Headache Society. I also have a big migraine blog up on the website at www.drmigraineallwinword.com. I've written two books on migraine that are on Amazon. Uh, one's a big book about 400 pages, 900 references, and the other one's a small mini book, which are available. So today I'm talking about beta blockers for prevention of migraine headache symptoms. Do they work? So what are beta blockers? They're called vasonormalizers. normalizers. We're talking about blood vessels here. So adrenaline is the stress hormone that comes with fear. When that comes out, it makes your arteries constrict. And then with the migraine, the arteries in your brain dilate, and it's vasodilatation that causes part of the pain, plus the release of chemicals that inflame the arteries. So there's a beta blocker that works on the arteries, and there's an alpha hormone that works in the lungs. And so these beta blockers are drugs which prevent the vasoconstriction of cerebral arteries and helps control migraine. The archetype drug here of the beta blocker group is propranolol, which originally came out as Enderol in 1974. And it's the only, it was the first drug that was approved by the FDA for prevention of migraine, so it's the oldest one around. Beta blockers are used in general for treating several medical problems. They can treat migraine for prevention, they work for hypertension, for cardiac uh, irregularities, they work for angina, which is chest pain that comes in cardiac patients, and they also work for treating what's called benign essential or familial tremor. So, are beta blockers prevention for migraine headache symptoms? Yes! The American County Neurology has a current update for pharmacologic treatment for episodic migraine prevention for adults, and I'm going to read what they say, that there is strong evidence for metoprolol, propranolol, and timolol, timolol, which are established as effective and should be offered for migraine prevention with a level A recommendation. And level A is the highest recommendation they can give. This group also says there's moderate evidence for using atinolol and natalol, which are probably effective and should be considered for migraine prevention. That's a level B rate. Okay, what are the doses here? Propranolol comes as a short-acting drug, lasts about four hours. And the dose for treating migraines should be somewhere between 160 to 240 milligrams a day. So the short-acting tablets are 10, 20, 40, 60, and 80 milligrams, and those have to be taken in divided doses like twice a day or four times a day. And then there's an extensive relief capsule that's called ER cap, and that comes as a 60, 80, 120, 160 milligram. And that's taken once a day, which is a lot easier. And since those drugs generic, I generally use uh, like the LA-80 to start, or maybe LA-120, which works well for most folks. Metaprolol, you should have a dose of 25 milligrams to 100 milligrams twice a day. That comes as tablets of 25, 37 and a half, 50, 75, and 100 milligrams. And Timolol, 10 to 30 milligrams a day, uh, comes as a, once a day or twice a day as tablets that are 5, 10, and 20 milligrams. All right, what are the side effects of these drugs? I'm just going to have to read this because it's a pretty big list. Propranolol, fatigue, dizziness, constipation, bradycardia, hypotension, depression, insomnia, weakness, disorientation, nausea, diarrhea, alopecia, impotence. So anybody that's taking um, propranolol has a slow heart rate or gets dizzy and faint, um, somebody who has disorientation, there's an enderol or propranolol kind of out of, out of your head syndrome, those drugs should be reduced or stopped. Metaprolol has side effects of fatigue, dizziness, diarrhea, pruritus, which means itching, rash, depression, dyspnea, bradycardia, sleep disturbance or nightmares, and timolol has side effect of bradycardia, heart block, fatigue, dizziness, headache, dyspnea, pruritus, Raynaud's phenomenon, nightmares, and impotence. Now, propranolol is the main drug most doctors use for migraine prevention. And even though there's a big list of side effects, um, it really doesn't have a lot of effects when you use it clinically. I haven't had a lot of problem with it. 
I do warn patients usually that there is a thing called the propranolol tired syndrome that usually develops in the first week where they're weak and tired. If that develops, they should just stop the drug. I also think about the patient I'm seeing if I'm considering giving them the medication that if they're depressed or they have asthma, those are kind of relative problems that can be aggravated by taking beta blockers, so I oftentimes we'll give it in that situation. I also tell my patients that to do a preventive drug, you can't just take it a couple of weeks or even a month. I encourage them to be on it at least six to eight weeks to see if it works and keep a log of your headaches so you can see if the drug is re reducing the occurrence of headache or the intensity. And usually the drug is used for three to six months. They chart the headaches, see if they're doing better, they have a chance to get off. Although many patients with severe frequent migraine headache will continue. So this is the end of my discussion on the use of beta blockers for migraine treatment. And God bless all your migraine sufferers. I hope you do well with this and all the best.